what's up guys welcome back to the channel i'm of course c and puma wherever you may be however you may be watching thanks for making this video a part of your day here we are in the first week of may now in the last episode we teamed up with randy orton in a tag team match at payback pay-per-view to face the team of mojo rowley and tjp that whole thing is weird oh hello renee let's chat Rumors have been swirling that you don't have what it takes to be in the WWE. How do you respond to a comment like that? Who said that? Who's your source? If someone thinks I don't have what it takes, meet me in the ring. There's a reason why these things are called rumors. If I'm the subject of a rumor, it's merely out of jealousy. That's right. Normally, I don't respond to lies, Renee, but in this case, I'll entertain you with an answer. If I'm the subject of rumors, good or bad, it's merely out of jealousy. The boys in the back know how talented an athlete and I am. Since they're afraid to compete with me, they try to sully my name with white lies. I'm afraid I'm too smart to fall for that. I'm not called the big cat of the WWE for no reason. Even though I'm only 5'11", I'm still the best one here. Some people are saying your opponent tonight has the advantage over you. Any strategies for how to deal with that? Just one strategy win. Don't believe everything you hear. My U WWE... Uh, I'll... <laughs> The WWE Universe is in my quarter. I'll use my superior intellect. I'll handle tonight like I've handled all my other matches using my superior intellect. Wrestling's like chess. It's a grim strategy, Renee. Unlucky for my opponent, I'm always at least two steps ahead. So the advantage is mine when I take this fool's queen and send him packing. So that's where we stand. All right. Good talk, Renee. Good talk. Let's see who else is back here. Carmella on the phone. Dolph is back there. What do you got to say, Carmelo? I'm not... Do not envy you at the next pay-per-view. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's not for a while. All right. Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Anybody here in the locker room? I feel like this is like standard pre-match stuff. You just run around the backstage area. Oh, Vince. All right, let's talk to Dolph first. Dolph, what you got to say? Look at your face. The compound was once a place of beauty and pain. Uh, would you have tried to sneak in? Well, I'd believe you'd respect the boundaries. I don't even know what that means. Vince, my man, did you see what we did last week at the pay-per-view? Pal, this really isn't the best time. If you got something to get off your chest, make it quick. I'm very busy. I promise I won't. I just need to discuss. No, we're done here. Actually, we're done here. I don't have time for this nonsense. Now get out. Sheesh. All right, I'm sorry, Vince. I don't want to switch brands right in the middle of a storyline with Randy Orton. All right, speed walk. Hopefully you're not too banged up. We got a big night of matches tonight. That's it? All right. Let's see. Six-man tag. Cena Puma, Randy Orton, and Graham Metalik versus Tyler Breeze, Sin Cara, and John Cena. I think... We might be able to fight somebody. Let shoot. Here we go. Six man tag. Team Tyler Breeze apparently versus Team C and Puma. Oh, and he starts it off. Oh, with a knee to the face. No. Get chopped. Smack. And we got to get away from this corner, that's for sure. We're just going to stomp on the back of the head for a bit. Uh-huh. Here we go. Here we go now. Oh, my goodness. Nice insecurity. Uh, in Hurricane Rana, Tyler Breeze scoots out of the way. No. Stop it. And, oh, my gosh, he drops us on our head. We could not get those reversals in. Tyler Breeze working us over. Uh, no. There we go. Nice drop kick. From C and Puma. We're going to pick him up. And oh, cl big clothesline from Tyler Breeze. And he's dragging us over. No. What? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. And he's going to throw us. Jeez. Damn, we're already yellow. All right, we're going to have to get out of here. We're going to have to get out of here. John? No. Not today, my friend. Uh. Get up. 
Ref, you might want to move, my friend. We're going to run over. Tag on, okay, our partner, Grand Metalik. Nice. Double hip toss. And we're going to step out of the ring right here. We're just going to, nope, don't climb up. Okay, I can't get onto our side, apparently. As infatuated as Tyler what the hell is going on? The definition of delish. Puma, get down, man. You're going to cause us to get disqualified. All right, here we go. We're, we're going to try to... We're going to see, hopefully, if Grand Metalik can... Uh, can take it in on... Get it on on John Cena. Nice backdrop there. Nice backdrop. What are you doing, Grand? Get, get some moves in. Those trunks are pretty sweet. They got like the teeth on them and whatnot. That's nice, dude. I'm I'm exhausted. He's going for it all. I am wiped out, man. Stomping on the chest of John Cena, and we we got this. Whoa, Randy, what are you doing? What Randy, get on the so ring apron, man. Just in case, you never know when I might need you. And oh nope. Reversal from John. German suplex. My gosh. We can't let... Uh, oh. We can't let Team Tyler Breeze get to us here. And no. Just in time, we get out of it. Elbows to the midsection of John Cena. And... Oh, okay. We did that again. No. No. I'm not going to let you hot tag. You know that. You know that. Hooking them up. And Brain Buster. Perfect placement. Perfect placement. Jump over. No. We're going to have to do flippy kicky all over this dude. Just so he doesn't hot tag his partner. And a kick to the face. And that might do it. I mean, if it was me, I would go tag my partner. But, you know. Okay, there goes John. Hey, Puma, you might want to wake up. Uh, somebody's coming into the ring. You might want to get up here. And no, we move out of the way. You damn dummy. Let's uh, let's get Randy Orton in this match. With we're gonna have two the two fresh guys with the, with the going at it here. And Randy, what's he got in mind? And oh, okay, I see you. I guess I should figure out how to do that. DDT from Randy Orton, right in the center of the ring too, man. That's awesome. Puma is cranked. Puma is fired up. The crowd is getting cranked up. We're supposed to be a heel, I guess. I don't know. I guess there's no such thing as heel and face when you're a company man or a fan favorite. I don't know. I don't know. Sinkara now with Randy Orton up. He's going to toss Randy into the corner. Bringing in John Cena. Oh, chopping the arm. He's chopping the arm. Whoa. John, what are you doing? Oh, face buster. Jeez. All right, Randy. We might, uh, we might need you to step out. Step out of the ring. He's going he's gonna to call him up. And he doesn't do a move. Instead, he hits him with a very nice fisherman suplex. Hot tag to Grand Metallic. And we get points for that, apparently. Oh, he missed. The whole hot tag thing makes no difference now. Because he missed. And, oh, nice. We're just going to stand here and let Grand Metallic get the win. We were on the outside. I was checking on Randy make sure he was okay. Grand Metalik gets the victory. And Randy Orton is fired up as he should be. I mean, I don't think it's Team Grand, team Grand Metalik. But still, we're we about to do the shield. Do the shield fist. That's a hell of a team right there. Here we are in the back. Todd is nowhere to be found. All right. So I think I think we can start a rivalry with someone maybe if we just want to fight him. Nope. What do you got to say? 
Uh, great way to get over the right folks, but it may also rub people the wrong way. All right, Aiden. We'll go see Shinsuke, but I'm going to bet that they are uh, being, you know, the same thing. Yeah, he's gonna just going to say the same thing over and over. Oh, wrong way. Come on now. We will head to the parking lot in just a second. Let's run over here, see who's around. So who's down there? John Cena and Randy Orton and nobody in catering. So let's go talk to Randy and see what he's got to say about our matchup here that we just won. When you're out in that ring, don't bother. Yeah, we know. Okay, that was that was your generic answer. Anybody in the locker room? Never. John, what do you got to say for yourself? You just lost. You just lost. With the upcoming pay-per-view, it seems like everyone's running around with chickens. Like chickens with their heads cut off. Whoops. Oh, here you go. Have you heard the rumors? They say you're the next big thing. If you ask me, I think you're all right. It's not like we've not seen a superstar move like you. No one moves like me, though. I'm the next big thing. Are you? It's been 15 years, Randy. I, I mean, John. I don't want to talk to Vince. He's going to freaking fire us. All right. Let's get to the car. Let's get out to the car and see what's in store for us. We might be able to start a rivalry uh, when we get back. So when Todd's just like, oh, we got matches, and you just are stuck in a random match, I think you can start a rivalry with somebody. But we might still be doing our thing with Randy. Let's see. All right, let's head into the week. Let's see, we got Todd. We got Aiden English back here. All right, Aiden, what do you got to say? Glad to see you. I like to think we're two of the very best that WWE has to offer. So I was thinking we could have a match. All right, so we are in that part. So I don't want to do a match with him because... Oh, wait, he is a company man. That's a hell of a challenge. I'll, I'll give you that. So I let's... Mm. Beat you in a match that some writers give four stars. It's interesting, but I have to pass. Wins are too important right now. All right. We might come back to Aiden English as a company man, but I think we're in that point where we can start something new with somebody. And I want to find the right company man. There's Renee. Uh, nobody in catering, maybe? Who's that down there? Chad Gable. Who's this dude? Who is this dude? John something. Hey! Let's catch up later. Now's not the time. I see. I mean, you're busy. You got, you know, you know, got dinner or going. So let's let's head down here. I'm definitely not with Chad Gable. Sorry, bud. You're just not in it for me. Anybody down here? Of course not. Anybody in the authorities office? Vince. Vince, my man. I don't have anything going on. What do you think we need to be doing right now? Is Palliston would make it quick? Yeah, we're done. Sorry, I'm I'm sorry to waste your time. Now get out, he says. Jeez Louise. Vince, you don't gotta be so mean. Let's go. Head to the other side here. And let's see what's in store down here. Got some rando in catering. Renee. Maybe we need to do an interview with Renee. Oh, there's Bray. We could fight Bray Wyatt. Shane in here? Shane is in here, man. What's going on, Mr. Shane? To be honest, you're being very pesky. Don't make me trade you to Raw. Okay. Your whole family are jerks, apparently. Company man Bray Wyatt, maybe? Fan favorite. Tonight I wanted to see if you'd like to be to reach the levels of someone like me. If someone like you, wanting to be a star, could find it in himself to attack someone like Akira Tozawa to ruin his match, devour his world... Yeah, you're not going to talk to me that way, dude. I've already done some stuff with Akira. Bruh, we're not doing anything with Akira. Let's see who's in the locker room here. Nobody. So, man, we're going to have to go do stuff with Aiden, Aiden English. Let's view the match card. Jimmy Uso and Tyler Breeze. Heath Slater and Jack Gallagher. All right. I don't know who... In order to schedule a promo, you need to reach fan favorite level three. So let's see where we are here. Your t-shirt sales are really low. Yeah, they are. I'm just freaking zero. Jeez. 
All right, fair enough. So we're really close to level three company man. You can now receive an in-ring buff by talking to Vince. So it looks like we're going to have to go at it with Aiden English. So um, we can get to that company man. Level three. I mean, unless... Well, let's just go do that. I, I was going to say maybe we could do an interview, but let's go talk to Aiden here and get this thing going. Company man, hey man, glad to see you. I like to think we're the very best, so I think we could have a match. I'm a big fan of yours. I'm not. I was thinking to up the ante. Let's have a great match. A match that would give the media, that the media would give four stars. That's a hell of a challenge. I'll give you that. I'll take you up for it. We'll put on a show. I like the way you think, but I'm the one that's going to win. We got to carry this dude to four stars. You just have accepted a side quest. This side quest will be on the next week's show. Okay, so it's not even going to be on this show. That's okay then. That's all right. Let's see. Let's go talk to Renee. See what she has to say. Hey, babe. Oh, I guess I need to get closer. All right, here we go. Have you ever thought about revising your ring gear or appearance? Are you kidding? I look perfect. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you question my appearance? Did you know the general manager personally picked this outfit out for me? I cherish this like an amazing gift from the gods above, and I've been personally touched by the masters. Renee, you... How dare you? I cannot believe you would ask me for this. What exactly is the reason for this rivalry? I don't understand. He ain't got respect. I hate his stinking guts. He walks around here like he owns the joint. I keep these walls up. The McMahons own this place. I mean, gosh, have some respect. So that's where we are. All right, we need to go talk with Todd. Todd, and I think we're going the wrong way. All right, Todd. Now, we could do fan favorite. What is fan favorite uh, with Bray here if we decided to do fan favorite? This allows you to get match buffs after doing a promo. You can trigger a promo whenever you want. So we just saw that. I'm dumb. We just saw that. What if we can choose our own rivalry and ally? None. Okay. All right. Sorry, Gary. No time to talk. No time to talk. Let's go see what Todd has to say. You ready to do this? Tonight's a good chance to gain some momentum. Okay. Let's take a look at the match card. Even though we just looked at... Oh, okay. We're doing this this week, I guess. All right. Let's fight Aiden English. Let's do it. Here we go. We can't let Aiden win. Because, oh, wow, right off the bat. Okay, he's going in. He's going in with a power slam. Come on now. Get up. Too fast. Roll out. Can't do anything. Oh, okay. Up. He's got us up. And too fast. We get caught. Bam. Okay. This is getting ridiculous. Damn. Damn. It's Aiden English for Pete's sake. It's not Brock Lesnar. I mean, jeez. We're not trying to freaking... Well, I mean, we are, but we're not trying to go in for the world title just yet. Aiden English here is thinking it's, it's like go time. Just, just get drop kicked in the face. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Here we go. There we go. And nice. Absolutely incredible. Nice move. Flipping onto Aiden English here. We're going to step out. Come on over. Come on over and let me punch you. Yeah, this is not going to work. He's too close for the phenomenal forearm. And he catches us with a hot shot. Jeez. Come on, Puma. Stand up. There we go. Oh, got him. Hooked up with the head scissors. 
and flinging him down. Very nice. Puma's ready to go. Get those stomps in, man. Get them in. Get back in the ring. Now you can stand up and catch this phenomenal forearm right to the face. Middle rope. Oh, man. I mean... He misses the Not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do, and he moved out of the way. Oh. Oh, what kind of weird submission. Shoot, I started moving before he did. And he, he caught me, but no. Get off me. I need a low, a low blow right there. Dead coming. No. And you catch another forearm. That's going to cost us in points there. And nice Starting Phoenix splash. Very He's nice. Very so we can climb up. Oh, nope. Yeah, I want to. Okay. We're, we're jumping up here. Because it's time for the moon stomp. I know it's early, and he moves. That's all right. This match might just Get. Oh, man. You just set yourself up. Congratulations. You played yourself. There's Get kicked back right back. in the face. Very nice. Here. Suck it, Aiden here. English. In a bad way right now. Uh, going to the top, Getting up. Get up top. Come on now. Come on now. Whoa, he's running. And we dove clean over the top of him. It counts. It counts. We're going to drag this dude out of here. We got to get these four stars because, like I said, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's this match or the next one. Aiden English with the oh with the reversal. A huge uppercut. All right now. Oh, we get to we roll out of the way, and we start in on Aiden, and we're gonna catch him with this move off the ropes. Oh man, that was a pretty cool reversal. I, I gotta say, I gotta say, good job, Aiden English. That was pretty neat. Like come on over here. Get his thoughts together. No? You're not coming? All right. Well, I'll just come to you and, and boot you into this here. corner. Oh, man. No, he All him. right. Well, he's out. And we want you to let go of me. Get off. Take a shot right, to the stomach. Here it get much than this. And here we go, hooking him up. And that was just suplex. I was trying to go for a brain buster, but we'll do that right now. Get him up and put him down. Nice. I want him to use that reversal. Get stomped or get 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 up. And here we go. What is this? And oh, nice into a DDT. Very nice move there from Puma. He's not using it. He's not using it. You can catch these kicks, boy. And one to grow on. That's right. We're going up top. We're going up top for the frog splash. Going up with those double guns. Come on now. Frog splash, baby. Holy cow. Huge move from CM Puma. And let's charge up this finisher. Let's charge it up. We're going to delay it a little bit and get him. We got him. We got him. Turn just right so we can pin him. Bam. And we don't currently have four stars yet, so we got to do another move. Uh, there we go. And you know what? Just one to grow on. I hope he doesn't reverse it because yikes. Nope. Didn't reverse it. I feel like... Finishing and signature moves don't get a, don't get a lot of uh, star points this time. Hook him up. Make sure you hook the leg, Puma. He got it. Count to 100, ref. Nice. We got the four stars for CM Puma and Aiden English. I don't know if that's what we were supposed to do on that particular one. Oh, man. 
Oh man, Puma is crazy. He's lost it. He's lost it. All right, let's see what what's in store for us here. Okay, so we are gonna go. Todd is not here. Um, there's Aiden again. Let's talk to Aiden. See what he has to say. I mean, yeah, we've already we we said the same thing. You don't have anything to say about me just beating you to pieces. All right, I think that is gonna end this episode. So it didn't look like that one was the match for us. So in the next one, we're gonna face Aiden English again. Try to get those four stars and get moved up the company man ladder. You know what? Let's go, let's let's go over here. And yeah, selfie. Cha -ching. That's gonna be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you coming by, checking it out. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you're not. And come on back. We'll be here with Nikki or Bree. I don't know who's who. And then in the, and we'll be facing Aiden English to get that four-star matchup. Thanks again, folks. I'll see you soon.